complications of the shoulder dystocia so basically the complications it can include the fractured of the clavicle so the important points here is that there can be the clavicular crepitus or the irregularity of the bone there can also be a decrease in the morose reflex and this is due to the pain of the affected side as well as the biceps and the grasp reflex these are intact next you are going to look at the other complication that is the fracture of the humerus the fracture of the humerus uh, it can include the upper arm upper arm crepitus as well as there can be bone irregularity there is a decrease in the morose reflex as seen earlier and this is due to the pain due to the affected side that is known and there is also the intact of the biceps and the grasp reflexes now we are looking at the herb duchenne palsy the herbs duchenne palsy important points being there is decrease in the morose till now we have seen only decrease in morose but here there is decrease in the morose as well as the biceps see these reflex are decreased and this is present on the affected side next the other point to know in herbs duchenne palsy there is a characteristic waiter tip so what are the waiter tip this is important it is nothing but the extended elbow it is the pronated forearm and there is the flexion of the wrist wrist and fingers the elbow is extended there is a pronated forearm and the flexion of the wrist next the other complication other thing to note in the herbs duchenne is that there is intact grasp reflex this is important to note the grasp reflex is unaffected it is intact now we are looking at the clumpy's paralysis this clumpy's palsy so in case of clumpy's palsy there is the claw hand claw hand the characteristics being there is the extended wrist the wrist is extended there is hyper extended this is the metacarpophalangeal joints hyper extension of the metacarpophalangeal joint next there is also the flexed interphalangeal joints as well and there is presence of abs sorry there is absence of the grasp reflex so till now there was the intact grasp reflex but as in clumpies or claw hand there is absence of the grasp reflex the hyper extension of the metacarpal is seen and as well as the flexed interphalangeal joints the other features of clumpies paralysis includes the horner syndrome this is include nothing but ptosis meiosis and next uh, the other point would be the is intact the intact of the moro and the biceps reflex next the last uh, the complication what we are going to see is the perinatal asphyxia perinatal asphyxia is nothing but there is the variable presentation there is a variable presentation it depends on the duration of the hypoxia other thing to note is that there is the altered mental status so the mental status this can include the irritability lethargy there is also the respiratory or the feeding difficulties poor tone or the seizures as well 